All right, 14.3 work together. Let's see if we can work through this. For each of the notes signed by PLD Inc., complete the following tables. Use the first table to show your calculations of A, the maturity date of a note, and B, the interest of the note, and C, the maturity value of the note. Use the second table to show A, the total interest, B, the maturity date, and C, the total maturity date. Um, let me change this window just a little bit. Oh, that, does, that works out pretty good. Um, okay, so lots of things to put in here. Um, this table is what we're going to use. And let's start, let's see. We've got um, June 5th, 90 days. So um, days from the month, if it's June 5th, there are 30 days in June. So 25 days remaining. And then 90 minus 25. July has 31 days in it. 34 days left. And then August has 31 days in it. 3 days left. And then September, just 3 days. 0 days left. Um, our principal here is twenty thousand um, dollars. Our interest, eight percent, and ninety parts of a year. Our maturity value is twenty times point zero eight. Oops. Times ninety divided by three sixty. Four hundred. Uh oh. Nope. 20,000 plus 400. I assumed I would have been putting the total in there, but I guess we can add that. Okay, the next note, June 12th. So we have, and it's 120 days, actually here. Um, so there are 30 days in June. 18 days left, 102, July has 31 days, August has 31 days, September has 30 days, so minus 31, minus 31, minus 30, so we could do that one on our heads. And then October would just be 10 days. Um, our principal is $10,000. 6%, 120 parts of 360. Okay, this would be 10,000 times 0.06 times 120 and divide by 360. $200. Cool. So our interest for the 90 day one was 400. Maturity date was September 3rd. And the maturity value was the 20,000 plus the 400. Um, interest here was 200. Our maturity date was October 10th. And we're at 10,200. Cool. That wasn't so bad. Hey, let's journalize. Um, date, July 5th. We have a accepted a 90-day 8% note from Gary Kinney. So we have a notes receivable. Um, it is notes receivable number 5. 
and we are at $1,800. Accounts receivables where it has to come out of. Gary Kinney, 1800 Then we have July 12th. I don't have to put July though. Um, received cash from Mary James for maturity. So, um, accounts receivable. <laughs> Can't spell. Uh, what's her name? Mary James. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is just the general journal. Okay. My bad. Mary doesn't go there. Um, Dennis Craft dishonored his notes receivable. So let's take account of that. Accounts receivable. Dennis Kraft, um, he dishonored notes receivable one for how much? Calculator, 400 times 0 0.0936. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, so his note was for $400, but we need to figure out what the total is. So we're going to do 400 times 9% times 90 parts of 360, $9. So we need to take into account the $9, and then we'll do a notes receivable for $400 and um, interest income for $9, and that takes, takes into account. Now with the cash receipts journal is when Mary James pays, so we received cash. I'm going to put July 12th, um, notes receivable, goodness, um, let's see, receipt 113, we have a credit of $500. Mary James, 9%, 60 days. So $500 times 9%, um, 60, $750. Interest income. So our cash debit will be five oh seven fifty. Cool. Moving on. Post entries. This is the long part. Okay, we did everything here correctly. Now we have Dennis Craft. He has a dishonored note. July twenty sixth. Let me see here. You will not need to make entries to the items columns, so we don't have to type in dishonored notes. Silly. Um, that was page G7 for $409, new balance. Okay, Gary Kinney, um, July 5th, he had an accepted note, but we don't have to type that in. Page G7. A credit of $1,800, which gives us a zero balance. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, our notes receivable, 1170. And accounts receivable, 
1130. Um, and Gary Kinney, 120. Accounts receivable, 1130. Dennis Craft, 110. Notes receivable, 1170. Interest income, 7110. Cool. Okay, post draft here, notes receivable was 1170. Interest income, 7110. And that's it. Okay, check. We did both of these. Let's do the general ledger. Accounts receivable. We have July 5th. Um, general ledger page 7. Let's see, July 5th. Okay. We have a credit of 1800. Redo our balance 4218197 minus. 4038197. And then July 26th, nothing in the item, page G7. We have a debit of 409. There it is. So we're going to add that back in. 40790. Notes receivable, G, oops, G7, 1800. That was a nice even number. Okay, and then Notes receivable, notes receivable on the 12th, and that is Cash Receipts Journal, page 8. $500, Cash Receipts Journal, $500. Probably didn't need the calculator for that one. Sort of silly. <laughs> and then the 26th, that would be general journal page 7. 400 dollars. <clears throat> cool. Make sure I filled in all of this. Um, I think I need an interest income. Nope, got it. Looks like we have everything. Alright, just trying to double check. I think we're good. Nice work.